Hello everybody, welcome back to Bee Boss Kitchen and welcome to those of you who are new. I would like to ask for you to subscribe, click the like, give me a thumbs up, and leave me a comment. And don't forget to click the notification bell. Today I'm going to be making a dish that I found on Pinterest and it is called Creamy Spinach and Mushroom Tortellini with Caramelized Onions. So, I want to start by showing you the list of ingredients that this takes, and then let's get this started. You will need olive oil, two large yellow onions, salt, mushrooms, baby spinach, heavy cream, and tortellini. Okay, first of all, it tells me to wash to peel, wash, and thinly slice my onions. So I've got them uh, peeled, I've got them washed, and I'm gonna slice them now. I failed to tell you that I am doubling my recipe. And so I have sliced four onions, very thinly sliced. And so now I have to slice my mushrooms, which I'm using portobello mushrooms. And so I'm gonna slice those now. Now, the mushrooms are sliced. And I'm ready to start preparing my dish now. Okay, the first thing that I will have to do is to heat up some olive oil in a large skillet. And I will do this on high heat because I will add my onions to this. Okay, I'm gonna add my onions now to my pan of oil, and it says for me to stir them constantly with a spatula for about 10 minutes. So I will set my timer. Okay, it's been 10 minutes, and so now I need to reduce my heat down to a medium, and I will continue to cook these for 10 more minutes, stirring them constantly to keep them from burning. And then I will be back. Okay, at this point now, I'll add a little bit of salt. I will continue to cook them for 10 more minutes on a medium or low heat stirring it occasionally to make sure the onions don't stick to the bottom of the pan or burn. Okay, that has been 10 more minutes and so now I'm to take the onions up. They have cooked a total of 30 minutes. Now I'm going to add another tablespoon of olive oil to my saucepan. And I'm going to add my mushrooms to this. You want it on medium heat. And so now <clears throat> I'll add my mushrooms and a sprinkle of salt. I'm going to cook them for about five minutes, stirring them occasionally just until the mushrooms get soft. I have my water getting hot here for my tortellini. I'm getting ready to cook it. Okay, I think my mushrooms have cooked long enough. They've softened up. And so now what I want to do is add my spinach. I'm gonna reduce my heat down to low and I'm gonna add my spinach to this.
going to put my tortellini in the water. It's boiling. I need to add some salt to that first. Let me salt my water. I'm using the five cheese tortellini. You can use whatever you want, but I'm doing the five cheese. Okay, my spinach is wilted. And so now what I want to do is to add back my caramelized onions to this. And now I'm going to add heavy cream. And I need to add salt. Okay, it says once this comes to a boil, to redu reduce the heat, to continue and to stir, and just let it simmer. Okay, now I will add my tortellini to this. And just combine it all really well. Oh, I think this is going to be another really good dish. This looks great. Okay. My creamy spinach and mushroom tortellini with caramelized onions is done. And so I'm going to do a taste test. This looks so good. Oh my goodness. My granddaughter Ashley is coming over for dinner this evening. I will be baking some sourdough bread in the oven that I picked up at the store, so we'll be having that along with this. But for my taste test, here is to you. Creamy spinach and mushroom tortellini and caramelized onions. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. I forgot I'm supposed to add fresh cracked black pepper to this. So let me try that and see if it makes any difference. Oh, what is there not to love about this? Mm hmm. That is so good. Maybe it's because I'm really hungry, but I don't think that's the, the deal. I think it's just downright good. It's very, um, you can really taste the flavor of the mushrooms in this. And of course the spinach and the caramelized onions gives it a very smooth taste to the palate. Mmm. Good. Mm -mm -mm. Well, that concludes my video. I hope you've enjoyed watching this, and I hope you'll give this recipe a try. It's really good. So, until the next time, this is Beba saying, may the Lord bless and keep you and your family safe. And until we see each other again, I hope you have a really great day, and I'll see you soon in another video. Bye.